Hi, it's Chris Duncan here, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast and Conscious Education Company. I'm so excited to be sharing this one today because I think it's one that uh, many people struggle with when they're trying to create outcomes and results they, they love. And this is the idea that there's a way to trick the universe into a successful manifestation. And this shows up in many ways, you know, in affirmations or in trying to feel a certain way that somehow that will mean that the successful outcome will happen. And it's just not true. One that always uh, amuses me is I was told by so many people, you need to feel abundant in order to make lots of money. And uh, it, it seems that that's a good thing until you really investigate and you realize most people with a lot of money don't feel abundant. In fact, uh, there's many people that feel abundant and don't have a lot of money. And so it kind of just uh, ruins this whole idea that if you could feel abundant, suddenly money will be there. Now, feeling abundant is a great thing to feel, you know, don't get me wrong, but the idea that if you feel it, then money will show up or that somehow you're attracted just as wacky. I'm sure all of us can sit there and realize that there is people with loads and loads and loads of money uh, they simply just don't feel abundant. They might be nasty. They might be mean. They might be downright skeptical or unpositive. You know, it's it's just not true. So so let's examine this. You know, this whole idea, this positivity myth, that if you are positive, uh, or you need to feel good uh, in order to manifest what you want, just doesn't make sense. In fact, if it if that was the only way, then how come there are so many creators and achievers? that do not feel positive and uh, you, you can tell and you can hear in their demeanor, great ac actors and musicians and artists and sports people, business people, parents who be, create things that are fantastic, but they, they didn't necessarily do it through positive feelings. In fact, some of my biggest manifestations were, were created out of a, a first intention of, of, of an absolute um, you know, fury that, that that's how the world was and what I wanted to create and do different. That's what it was created from and, and, and beautiful creations came from it. See, the, the idea that uh, there's a, that you need to, uh, you know, uh, be positive is actually this idea that you need to be not yourself. See, if you have to try to be something that's not you, well, you've really got this counter intention happening in the field where half of you is saying, I need to be a certain way. The other half of you is saying, well, you, you know, you're not allowed to just be you. And so, so th this, is a, this is a very controversial point that positivity in itself is, is probably a good thing, yet it doesn't necessarily help manifestation. OK, and it's, it's a very big, very big myth. Uh, another myth that uh, that I that I see out there of how we need to try to trick the, the universe or trick ourselves is, is affirmations. Most of us don't believe the affirmations we're saying. You know, someone walks around. I love money. Money loves me. I am rich. I am rich. I am rich. In the back of your mind, you know that you're not or that you, you don't. And, and what I realize is those that already have it. That's not what they're doing. You know, like I, I got a car, a dream car of mine, and I bought this car. And uh, now that I have it, I just have it. I use it. It's just my car. And so it's, a di it's just different. It's, it's not how it is. It, it's just it's just different. You see, we're trying to we're trying to trick it. We're trying to feel different or that, uh, you know, the whole idea of the secret, which which, again, I actually think a lot of these are half truths. So in fact, I think the secret is a half truth and the secret, you know, visualize it, feel it and it's going to show up. Well, you know, obviously that what's happening behind the scenes is there's the reticular activating system in the brain that says when you put an image in your mind and you, and you focus on something, you, you see it more. That's why when you buy a new car, you see them everywhere. Or if you're looking for a new car, you see them everywhere. So there's a part of your brain that, that looks for what's important. So you see it more, therefore you can take action on it. So you, you, you're tuning in. Uh, however, the idea that, you know, you can trick the universe or there's a code to tune into that makes everything just different it, it just isn't true and uh, and you know many of these i guess are, are done with good, well, all of them are done with good intentions i think however when we uh, when we buy into these ideas what we're really buying into is that there is an easy way or a shortcut that isn't in reality that if i just do this if i hold my fingers in a certain way if i meditate a certain way then it's just going to be easier and i don't have to actually just create something the most predictable way to to turn your thoughts into reality including creating a miracle transformation or or a new business or a new body or a new relationship or whatever it is you want to create is a creative process and the creative process isn't positive thinking it's not tricking the universe it's not you know overcoming barriers it's not any of these things a creative process is one thing 
is it's bringing into being the thing that you want to exist. It focuses on the end result, focus your consciousness on the end result and brings what is not there to be there. It is the creative process. The creative process doesn't require you to be any certain way. It requires you to focus on what you're creating, take correct steps until that thing is manifest. It's the most predictable uh, thing on the planet. Yet we're guided and taught by so many people that there is a way that we can trick the world to give us what we want, you know, think it and it will be, you know, and, and it's, it's just not true. And when you look at every successful person in their places that they've created, they've done one thing. And that is the creative process. And so I'm just here to shine the light on what I've seen. Let me know in a comment below if you agree or disagree. Uh, I know that it might be a little bit controversial, but it's just true. You're not broken. You're a creator. Well, you can create anything you like just the way you are. You don't have to try to be po extra positive. You don't have to try to be abundant. You don't have to try to do anything. You can have everything the way you are. But you know what? What that means is why not just choose to be positive and happy? Not because it's going to manifest something, just because it feels like a good thing to do. And then let's get creating a life you love. I love you so much. Uh, look forward to seeing you on my next uh, video, next session. If you want to have a call with someone on my team about our coaching products, uh, about our, our training or our certification, there should be a link below. Uh, until then, bye for now.